unfortunately the speaker is very quiet and is being cut off all the time so interpretation cannot be provided the colleagues have said a lot thank you very much at the very start of, he keep there are technical issues which prevent uh, uh, interpretation. I'd like to thank you, the uh, AUC, for this event and for the work that is being done by the association. It is tremendous. We know that our uh, local authorities uh, and rest are protected by the association, and uh, if we didn't have uh, such a powerful United Association, we'd have an entirely different uh, uh, conditions for the local authority work. Of course, since the 24th, as the colleague has said, I liked it a lot. We have almost arrived at the fact that our values were reassessed because everything we wanted to do, all of these plans, they were all sometimes postponed or even forgotten about. We are, of course, now moving on to a new reality. Our community is not a borderline community. It is uh, in the uh, it is in the back, but we're pretty close uh, to the front line. We're 80 kilometers near the Parisia. We are not shelled by artillery, but we had um, missile attacks many times, unfortunately. But at the same time, since the 24th, we were very much grasped to uh, grasping with the issue uh, of placing and aiding and kind of displaced person because we're on the roadway going from Donetsk and Kharkiv. You understand that in the, what happened in the first days, I personally wake up in the, in the first uh, 1 a.m. Uh, was uh, placing people in buses. This was mostly the Hansko Blast, which was in, in the, uh, being uh, captured in the first thousand people wearing whatever they could uh, grab while uh, moving on. We had over 10,000 people uh, go through our territory. We had to feed all of them at least once, provide them with a place to stay. Very often people required uh, things of immediate necessity because sometimes they left uh, in a hurry and couldn't take something, some personal effects, uh, shoes, clothes, etc. And today, same as our colleagues, we had over 3,000 people register through the central administrative service point our newly registered citizens of our city we had people register through the GIA app such a function is available as well and also i think the 3.5 thousand of idps exist in the community right now of course we were interested in providing them with workplaces to place them somewhere to implement them into uh, our community we're working on this a lot, and on the slide you can see one uh, of the consequences of a hit. It was a very serious hit near two, uh, two apartment buildings. Significant damage. Six flats destroyed completely, and one uh, detached house uh, destroyed. Uh, we not destroyed. Significant damage for the community, and as you can see, the previous community of our community were under 2 million, of which the 37 million were given to the armed forces. Even though we received personal uh, income tax uh, for 2.7 million, so it didn't count how many uh, military uh, bases we had. But we have uh, given these funds even because only the victory could uh, everything we planned uh, before and you know we had a discussion today what to do how to get military uh, units involved uh, how to invite them how to fight for them etc and i'd like to say that in 2022 we have given over 30 million even though we've received uh, quite no, no, not a lot and those uh, military units that given, they registered with us, we didn't even ask them for it, the, uh, it just was their way of saying thank you. So we keep providing over 20 million in six months have been given to the army, and this sum will be a bit bigger in the next six months as well. 
So, of course, we would like to be building roads and sidewalks and etc. But we understand that right now we need to support the army, our boys. But one of the projects which we would like to implement, because it is also directly related to our protectors, is the Center of uh, Veteran Support. May, maybe there are colleagues who were with me uh, when we were in Lviv. And looking at a veteran support center you've created on the basis of the, on the base of that large one large hospital a center for mental health very interesting ideas so that we have taken a look and we saw it in the support for the servicemen and women who come back from the front it's a very important relevant topic because uh, our boys and girls will come back with issues because they were ordinary people who mobilized and now they, they, there is only war for them every day, and in a, in a year, a couple of years after, the, uh, however long it takes, uh, the war will be the only thing they will know. So they will need to be adapted. Of course, I wouldn't like to be too long, so everything's on the website. Really, I see that the community is looking into the future because confidence is ready to move on, and the support of association, our partners, will help you with that, dear colleagues.